Hello. Good morning. I'm looking for Rebecca. There, please. Yes, this is. Hi, Rebecca. How are you? Uh, this is uh, John Smegma calling from uh, McCann Erickson Advertising Agency. And I'm calling in regards to a uh, package we received uh, uh, concerning your daughter. And I was given this number to call. Now, your daughter's name is Amanda. Uh, is that correct? Yes. All right. And, and how old is she approximately? Uh, she's one. Your, your daughter's one year of age? Yes. All right. That is absolutely perfect. All right. Um, I'm sorry. Did I, did I wake you up, ma'am? Yeah. Uh, what time is it? Well, you, you know, I have no idea. Well, it's it's um it's like nine o'clock here where I'm calling from. It's in in Chicago. Um, is this this is a a long distance number? Are you not in Chicago? I'm in, I'm in San Francisco. Oh, I'm sorry. I have no idea. It must be pretty early there then. Yeah, it's pretty early. Here. Oh, I'm sorry. I had no idea it was that early. I didn't want to wake you, anyone up on this. I could have called you at the end of the list here. It's okay. All right. Now, your daughter Amanda. She's one years of one year of age. Yes. We have an advertising campaign coming up that we feel your daughter would be absolutely perfect for. Oh, wow. And uh, we love the pictures you sent in. What I'd like to do is call her in and I guess call you in for uh, a screen test if possible. Oh, wow. Yes, it's wonderful. Okay, we have, and, and I will say, take this with a grain of salt because we do have approximately 30 other babies that we have in mind for the, uh, for the, uh, for the ad. It uh, involves TV and print and uh, and maybe even some appearances too that you'd uh, you'd have to take your daughter to a number of uh, sites at special promotions if possible oh wow i'm waking up now that's wonderful what, what kind of commercial is it well it's uh it's for a brand new product it's actually you know those baby wipes uh, yes, yes okay and i'm sure you're pretty familiar with that you'd probably get some free baby wipes part of the deal too okay it, uh the baby wipes people are thinking of doing a commercial and we were looking for the ugliest child possible in america and we feel that your daughter, Amanda, really fits the bill on this one. We'll take, like, a baby's ass and have your child's face beside it. Excuse me? Well, what we'll do is we'll take another baby's ass and have Amanda's face beside it. And we'll have a little something. I know we'll lose a little something in the translation now, but how to, which one should we wipe with the baby wipes? I'm so insulted right now. Excuse me? How dare you call up and insult my Amanda. No, ma'am, ma we, feel we feel your child is absolutely perfect. She's probably the homeliest child we've seen come in here, the pictures. I, I've never been in so insulted. My baby's beautiful. What, are you kidding me? You, you feed that kid with a slingshot? I'm just mortified. Ma'am, ma ma'am, ma there's I'm, a, I'm, th 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 this pays a lot of money, and I think you should hear me out here, because we feel with Amanda's face... We could sell a lot of those ass wipes. My baby is beautiful, and I do not want to market her in this manner. Now, 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 now Rebecca, maybe you'd like to market her in another way. Well, maybe, I maybe, maybe I could tell you that your husband, John, said to give, us, uh, give you a call this morning. It's Lamont and Tanelio, 92.3 KSJO. You're on the air. Oh. Amanda, you're on the radio. It's Dirty Friday. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rebecca, oh my God. Rebecca, <laughs> yes. your daughter, Amanda, I hear is beautiful, but he just wanted to ream you on Dirty Friday. Well, he certainly did. Ah, uh, he got you. <laughs> How are you guys? We're doing wonderful. Do you have anything to, you have anything to say to your husband? You're going to get it when you get home. <laughs> or, or, or he's not going to get it when he gets home. <laughs> hey, exactly, you, exactly. You take care of your husband, John. We have a little something for you. And, okay. you, and you take care of your little ass face kid, okay? <laughs> okay. Give, give Amanda a kiss no, for us. Sanda. All right. <laughs> Hold on the line. It's 650. Oh, wow. Did you hear how, uh, how mad she got? How her? dare you? Morton My Amanda. My Amanda is beautiful. <laughs> Oh, I love Dirty Friday, man. Hello. Good morning. I'm looking for Melissa. Yeah, this is Mel. Hi, Mel? Yes. Hi, Mel. This is uh, Officer Dick Forskin calling from the uh, San Francisco. Hi. And I'm calling in regards to your husband, Stuart. Oh, Stu. Is he okay? Did, uh, was it was there a bar fight or something? No, no. Right. Stu, Stu is fine, yeah. He's, he's okay. Yeah, but no, there was a, no bar fight. Have you not seen your husband? Since no, last night? No, I've been worried sick. I haven't seen him. I haven't heard from him. You haven't heard from your husband overnight? No. Well, that may explain something here then. 
it seems that your your husband Stu, are you separated at all, ma'am, or are you still uh, with them, or what? What are no, you sick? Um, we were we were separated recently, but um, we're back together now. You're back together now. All right. We're back together. Yeah. Uh, you, now your husband, we we picked him up on his rig earlier on this morning. So what? Did he have a late night load? Was that it? Uh, I don't. Not that Is that I know. why you not didn't see him? No, I don't know. I don't know. What's wrong? Well, we we arrested him earlier on this morning. He was caught propositioning a hooker in the tenderloin. What? That son of a bitch! That rotten no, 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 ma 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 take it. He was promising me and promising me he would stop this. He was promising me that's why we were separated to begin with. That's oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. What, what do you mean that's why you separated in the first place? Because he was cheating on me. He was hooking up with every boss Lucy in a ninety mile radius. He was just. I kicked him out of the house once. He begged and begged, and that's why I brought him back. Well, ma'am, ma'am, on the bright right? side, on the bright side, he, he wasn't picking up bar floozies this time. He was, he, he no. was going to professionals. Oh my God, that asshole! That asshole has been cheating on me. Keep him, keep him. I don't even want him back. I don't want to see him. You can throw away the key. Ma'am, we were throw told to give key. you a call. I don't want him. He said that you would bail him out. No, I would no. He's got another thing coming. Why doesn't he call that prostitute? Why doesn't he call her to bail him out? Because I'm not bailing him out. You know what? He's keep him, keep him. Ma'am, ma'am, ma we, we, we can't keep your husband in jail. He said you keep would him. be the one that you, uh, you, well, you're I'm his wife. You're, I'm not picking him up. You're, you're his wife, damn I'm not it. I'm picking him up. I'm not his wife anymore because you know what? As soon as I got off this phone, I'm going to a divorce lawyer. He's got a lawyer or something or other. Ma'am, 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 ma 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 you've worked I'm your keeping. problems out with him before. You, were, I know you were separated. You just told me you were separated with him. But we're and back you, together. He did it again. He did it again. And he did it again. Keep him. Please keep him. I can't. I, I'm so. I can't talk about this. Please keep him. Ma'am, at least he was going to professionals and 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 he was. Ma'am. I can't keep him. I don't Melissa, want him. Melissa, I don't want him. I'll, Melissa, you, now no, you have, I, I cannot talk about this. I keep him. But Melissa, me, me, before you tell me keep him one more time, let me just say one thing. Your husband, Stu, uh, said he loves you very much when he was talking to the him. arresting officer, and he said you would be very upset. And he also said uh -oh. to give you a call this morning because it's Lamont and Tonelli on 92 KSJL. You're on the radio. It's Dirty Friday, Mel. Uh, that asshole. No, oh Mel, 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 hold on. You know no, what? he wasn't arrested. You know don't worry. You know what? It's not funny, and you guys can still keep him because I still don't want him back. Oh, Mel. Yeah, Mel, Mel, please control oh. yourself. Uh, hey, he's a you, dead man. You've got to be relieved. You've got to be relieved. Oh, I don't know. Mel, hold on the line, okay? We'll set you up with a oh. little something. Wow, since, <laughs> since when did a-hole turn into a term of endearment? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> which one is the truck driver? Uh, I would have loved to have been at that wedding. I now pronounce you a-hole and wife. <laughs> oh, I love Dirty Friday, man. You just never know who you're going to get. Hello? Good morning. I'm looking for a Carolyn. Please. Uh, she's not here. Can I take a message? Uh, yeah. Uh, can you leave a message that I had a wonderful time with her the other night? And I can't wait to see her again. Excuse me? I had a wonderful time with her the other night, and I can't wait to see her again. Who's this? Uh, I'm her girlfriend, Vera. Who is this? Oh, my name is John uh, Furskin. I met her at the, uh, at the charity the other night. It was last week. We were packing bags together. At a charity? Yeah. And she told me to give her a call at work. And... Well, excuse me. This is not her work number. This is her home number. Oh, well, this is her home number? Yes, it is. And, and who are you? My name is Vera. I'm her girlfriend. Oh, you're her girlfriend? Yes, I am. Oh, okay. Well, uh, I can't wait to meet you sometime. Maybe when I come and pick her up for dinner or something, I can come, I'll see you. For dinner? Yeah. Well, she's seen someone. She's seeing someone? Yes, she is. She never told me that. We, we, we were, Excuse me? We're, she never told me that. We were packing bags. I'm a little disappointed. Well, I'm her girlfriend. Well, you've already told me you're her girlfriend, but who's she seeing? She's seeing me. Who do you think she's seeing? Who is this? Who is this? What Where do you are mean? you from again? What you... I met her the other night at our food charity drive. And we were packing bags, and we were doing our work, and afterwards we went out and had dinner, and we had a great time. Well, I'm sorry. I'm her lover. Well, you're telling me that you're her lover? Yes, I don't believe Oh, she. you're I... that kind of girlfriend. Uh, I don't believe she did this. Rug muncher. Are you kidding? I don't, I don't believe this. Well, I don't appreciate this. Now, hold on. Now, 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 now Vera, you're telling me... You're licking splits with this gal. Yes, I am. Excuse me? You and Carolyn, you and me Carolyn. and Carolyn are lovers. Um, listen, I don't know. Is this some type of game or something? Because I don't think Carolyn would do something like this to me. 
We've been together too long. How long have you been dating, Carolyn? About seven years. Well, she was with me the other night, and she seemed to like the cucumber. Well, I don't think so. She was packing cucumber? I Although so. I did notice when she was packing the cans of tuna, she didn't have an affection Carolyn for it. Would hey, never, now, now, now Vera, would never, Vera. You would never do this to me. you got to be kidding. Well, I'll tell you, you let her decide. Leave her a message, and I want to take her for a nice fish dinner. Well, I'm sorry. That's not going to happen. Maybe you can come for that one, too. Hey, I'm listen. Sorry. Vera? Vera? Yes? Now, be, be, pl please. Excuse me? Be a man about this, okay? Can you leave a past man? the message to her? Yeah, well, uh, well, she's going to get a message, all right, but I don't think she would do something like this Well, Vera, I'll tell, you what she w I'll tell you what she would do. She'd tell you to give you a call on the radio. It's Lamont and Tonelli calling a KSJO. You're on the radio. It's Dirty Friday. <laughs> you're kidding. No, you're on the radio. <laughs> you go, girl. <laughs> I'm going to kill her. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Vera, Vera, do you have oh, anything man. to say to her? <laughs> huh? But you know what? The other night, did she did, she came home face, didn't she? Oh my God! I don't believe this. <laughs> well, you guys were out <laughs> drinking all night. Yeah, <laughs> she she was holding her liquor fine. Oh my God! <laughs> yeah, by the ears. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. What, what, hello? Yeah, are you there? Are you there? Oh, I thought maybe you hung up on us. Vera, Vera, I'll tell you what. You hold on. We have a little something for you and Kelly, okay? okay? Thank Sully, you. Sully, yeah. set them At up with a dinner at Fisherman's Wharf. Get them both clam dinners. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh hold on. Well, Vera, I like that Vera, one. Vera, you sound like a very fun person. Hold on funny. the line. It's funny. <laughs> All right, hold on the Vera, line. Vera, you got to be careful. They pull those clams from San Francisco Bay. Oh, they're bearded. <laughs> the bearded clam. I think it's a pollution problem they have in San Francisco Bay. They grow hair on them. <laughs> hold on the line, Vera. Thanks. All righty. It's 823. We are The Rock. Lamont and Tonelli with Dirty Friday. Who do you want to sing? Good morning. This is Suzanne. Good morning. I'm looking for uh, Suzanne. Please. This is her. Hi, Suzanne. I'm, uh, this is uh, John Farquhar. I'm calling from uh, Lines. Yes. And I'm calling in regards to your uh, flight arrangements that you have with us. Uh, you have a booking tomorrow morning coming out of Denver. Right. Is that correct? Yes, that's right. You know, Suzanne, I'm sorry, but we've had a few problems, and we've had to cancel that flight. That's why I'm calling you. Um, well, I paid for that ticket in advance. Well, I understand that, but the flight is not leaving the ground. We've had some uh, problems. The FAA has recalled a few airlines, uh, planes, and as a result, this plane will not be leaving the ground for about a week and a half. So, so what are you going to do for me? So what we're going to have to do is, and we're doing this for everyone on the flight, what we're doing is we're bumping the people onto other flights. Okay. And we're putting you on a waiting list. On a waiting list. Yes, ma'am. It's a first-come, first-served basis. Well, I already took my vacation. I already paid for the ticket. I need to be on the top of that list. Well, ma'am, I understand, but there are people who had booked flights prior to this. And keep in mind, next week is Thanksgiving week, so the, the airlines are basically all full. I realize that I need to be on that flight because I, I, my parents are going to pick me up. We're having a big family reunion. I need to be there. Well, I, okay, Suzanne, I understand that. So what I, you've got to work with me here, okay? okay? And that's the reason for the call this morning. Maybe we can arrange to have you either fly another airline. We've tried that. We've looked at all the possibilities, and I really don't see any openings. However, if you work with me on this, we may be able to fit you in on something. We may not be able to get you leaving tomorrow, though. I have to leave tomorrow. Well, I only have a week's vacation. Well, I understand that your departure may not, you may not arrive in the San Francisco Bay Area tomorrow, though. Now, what I can do is we have flights leaving from other cities. Mm -hmm. So if you're open to this, what okay. we'd have to do is shuttle you to another city where they uh -huh. do have an opening and, and get you on a flight that way. Does that sound okay to you? Possibly. Okay. Okay. Now, here's a possibility. Uh-huh. Uh, you, you're working right now, I take it? This is your yes. work number? Yes. Okay. What I'd like to do uh -huh. is, uh, what time do you get off work? 5.30. 5.30. Uh-huh. All right. We may be able to do this. Okay. Could you be packed up and ready to go by 5.55? I don't know. I could try. Or maybe leave work early today or I something? Can't. I, I can't. Tomorrow's my first day of vacation. Well, okay. All right. Um, what I'd like to do is put you on a Greyhound bus. A bus? What? Well, you see, the we're, we're, we're packed up here at the airport. Uh -huh. Our flights are full. All the airline flights are full starting from today right on through for the next basically six weeks. Well, I'm sorry. I paid for that ticket in advance. Well, I need to be that, on that flight. That is there. our airline. But that's our, that's, here, here's what I propose. So you guys screw up and then I have to pay for it. No, no. Here, here's what I propose. I'm going to put you on a Greyhound bus mm -hmm. and we will take you from Denver and we will take that bus to Utah. What? And we may have a flight out of Salt Lake City. 
Now, the flight out of Salt Lake City would then fly you to Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. We would take a jumper from Las Vegas, and the Las Vegas flight would then take you to Phoenix. Mm -hmm. Now, from Phoenix, there is an opening into San Francisco that we should be able to get you there by late Monday night. I that can't do way, that. That way, you'll still be there for Thanksgiving. Is there someone else I can talk to about this? Ma'am, I'm in charge here. That We've got like 10 people working on, on all the travel arrangements. Keep in mind, this flight has been canceled. We have, we've had other flights canceled. There are at least 2,000 people on our waiting list with jammed flights. Oh, no. I have to get on a flight. I don't know if I can do that. Can I call you back or something? I'll tell you what we can do. What? I'll give you a number. Okay. 92 KSJO Radio in San Jose, San Francisco, Oakland, Rock in the Bay Area. I'm going to kill you. You're on the radio, you. Suzanne. Your brother Ted said to sting you this morning. It's Dirty Friday. Uh... All right, yeah. Okay. <laughs> sure. You got me. You got right. me good. Okay. You have anything to say to your brother? Yeah, I'm going to kill him when I see him. <laughs> Suzanne, hold on. We got a little welcome home present for you, okay? All right. All right. It's 8.50. We are the oh, Rock Lamont Telly in the morning. Hook, line, and sinker yeah, on another great call. Great sting on Dirty Friday. Oh. Can't steal phone lines. Hello? Hello, Chevron. It's it's what? Chevron. Chevron? Yeah. Hey, good. How you how you doing? I'm okay. Hey, okay. gobble, gobble, gobble to you. Happy Thanksgiving after day. Yeah, yeah, yo, what 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 you want? Hey, I was in there three days ago and I think you overcharged me for something. No, no, I don't I know. I was in there three days ago and I paid too much for uh sunflower seeds. No, 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 I don't I know overcharge you. Huh? You do you sell sunflower seeds? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well yeah, I paid too much. No, no, and I want, I'm going to come in today for a refund. No, no, no. You know I pay too much. You, you, I, I charge you add money. I, I paid too much for my gasoline, too. No, no, no. We, 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 we good price. We know, we know if you are. Listen, I paid too much, and I think it's only fair that I get my money back. I got my receipt. No, I don't care. don't care. No, no. I'm we coming in. Don't... I'm coming in. No, I paid no. too much. Okay, hey, what's bye. Your, what... bye. <laughs> bye. Hello? <laughs> she hung up? <laughs> What else can we tell her? <laughs> we'll come up with something. <laughs> if we can dick with her throughout her morning shift. God, I'd save this number for dicking with comedian star clerks. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> here we go. Oh, look, I only dial five numbers on our machine here. Let me try this. There we go. Okay. 707 area code. North Bay? Uh, yeah. Hey, is this Chevron? Yeah. Hey, listen, I'm uh, calling from uh, down the street. The lights in your store are too bright. Can you turn them down? What? Uh, what you say? Uh, the, the lights on your store are too bright. Can you turn them down? I can't yes, sleep we, with we, the lights so bright. No, we don't, we don't sell it. Can you just, like, uh, put a dimmer on it or something or the clapper? You got the clap? Uh, no, uh, no. <laughs> I don't think so. You got the clapper? No, who is it? You, you got the clap and maybe turn it down. Who, who is it? What you want? My name is Dick Foreskin Colin. I live no. down the street from you. We and you know, you're not supposed that. to be... Uh, the citizens of the area are, are very mad that you got too much traffic going through there, and it's very bright for me. I don't care. We don't sell that here. You you call somewhere else. I want to know. So I'm looking. Do you have the clap? I don't know. We don't have that. You don't have the clap? No. Maybe a little itching, burning? No. No? What you don't call Turn no down more. the lights on your on your uh, machines, okay? They're too I, bright. I don't have time for this. I don't have time for this. <laughs> Turn down. The, I don't she, have time for this. What are you call me for? Uh, listen, the, the your store lights are too bright. Turn them off. Don't call here no more. <laughs> don't call here. <laughs> no, don't call here. She hung up again. <laughs> oh, this could be a uh, this could be a gem. Hey, Thang, Thang. <laughs> we'll call Thang back. She's being set up by her husband. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Here we go. Uh -huh. oh, there's an email here. It says, what's up, freaks? Hey, Lamont, send Sully skateboarding down Lombard Street. <laughs> <laughs> that would be righteous. Your call did not. <laughs> oh, oh, the Castillo phone system. <sighs> Sully got a kick out of that one. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, there we go. Okay. Four times. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. Is this? Who's this? Chevron. Chevron? Yeah. Hey, I'm calling the police. Those lights are too bright on your uh, on your gas pumps. What are you talking about? The, you know the lights above the gas pumps? It's yeah. keeping me and my family awake at night. No, we, no, 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 no. You have the clap? 
Who the yes. clapper? The clapper. Clap. No, you asked me that before. I say no. I don't have that. Yeah. No. Hey, brown eyes. What? You got big brown eye. Yeah. Who? who I is thought he? that was you. I was in there earlier on. I saw your big brown eye. No, I want to. Know, I want to know who this is right now. Uh, this is Dick Foreskin calling. Who? Dick Foreskin. I mean, my buddy John Scrotum. Why are you calling me for? I'm calling you because we can't sleep at night. The lights are too bright. Well, you don't. I don't. I don't know what to do about you, that. Hey, you so. got gas? Yes, sir, we have gas here. How it's, much gas you got? We have lots of it. Because I want to come back. We got too us. much gas over here too. I can smell it. Well, you like, is, it your, is it your gas that I can it, smell? Yes, it's my gas. What price for? Pay good money for it. Yeah, I know you pay good money. It's too much too. Reduce the price on your gas. What? You're too much gas. No, 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 too hey, much. Hey, dang, dang. What Did you say dang? Yes. Dang. What do you, what you want? Dick Foreskin. What, what you want here? I'm calling you because your husband, Duck, said to give you a call. What, what? you doing working today, dang? No. Well, it's Dirty Friday, Lamont and Tonelli and KSJL Radio. Oh, my, who is this? Lamont and Tonelli, KSJL Radio. Who, the, the, uh, Lamont and Tonelli. KSJL Rock Radio, you're on the air. Oh, you those nasty men that my husband listens to. <laughs> yeah, that would be us. It's Dirty Friday. Why you call me? Don't call me no more. Say hi to Duck. No, I'm not going to say he. You you say hi. <laughs> you, you don't have time for this. You still got gas? Yes, and I don't. I don't want you, you guys people calling me no more. All right, get back to work. Chop 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 chop. You okay? You'll be good. Don't Okay. <laughs> we'll let Duck explain it to her in, the, in his own inimitable way. <laughs> you nasty boys. It's Dirty Friday. Hello. Good morning. I'm looking for Troy, please. This is Troy Jefferson. Hi, how are you, sir? I'm fine, thank you. Good. This is uh, John Mc uh, Reynolds calling from uh, Airlines. Good morning, Mr. Reynolds. And I'm calling in regards to your flight that you have. Uh, you're leaving on Sunday. Is that correct? Yes, sir, I am. Uh, sir, we've we've had a problem with the flight that you're scheduled to be on. That's why I'm calling you at this number. This is your emergency number. Is that correct? Yes, it is. Uh, um, what type of problem are we, we talking about here? Well, the problem is the flight that you're scheduled to leave on is no longer leaving the Bay Area. Uh, that that model of plane has been grounded by the, uh, FC, by the FCC. Well, is there some kind of other flight set up or something like that? Uh, I'm going to need to get back. No, uh, no, sir. The, the, no, sir. The flight that that is leaving SFO on Sunday is no longer leaving. All right. That, that's what I'm trying to tell you. So what I'm doing is I'm calling all the passengers that have uh, the reservations that we have online here. Yes, sir. And I'm calling and trying to find you different flight arrangements on the way back. For, for Sunday. Well, you see, all of our Sunday flights, as you can well imagine, Thanksgiving, all the planes have been booked. So this is really putting a fly in the ointment for us. So I've checked all the other airlines. There are no available seats on all the other airlines. We don't have a flight leaving on Sunday that's open. We just can't add a flight. So what I'm going to have to do is try and fit you in on another flight on another day. Uh, okay. What day is that going to be? Uh, I think the earliest possible flight that we have anything open on is Thursday, sir. All right. Well... That's not going to work for me, all right, because I need to be back Monday. You see what you hear me? I need to be back Monday, son. Uh, a Thursday flight's not going to work. You got anything leaving Saturday? Uh, no, sir. As I said, we are booked up solid. We're booked up today. We're booked up tomorrow. We're booked up Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday is the first no. available flight leaving to Dallas. Listen, I need to be back by Monday, and this Sunday thing's not working for me. All right. No, sir, so I've tried to make every mother. possible arrangement. I've tried the red eyes. I have tried uh, uh, another airline. Well, why I've tried you rooting you through a different city. Well, goddamn, son, why didn't you guys foresee this when you booked the flights? That's what. That's no, what sir, we can't, we can't foresee an FAA recall of airlines. Well, now, I'm the plane... out of luck now. Well, no, sir, damn, sir, is sir it, it, listen, Mr. Is Jefferson, else listen. I could talk to over you? Mr. Jefferson, no, sir. I'm the manager of, of my department, and that's the reason I'm calling you. I know we've got some problems. They've called. I'm not happy to be working today. Well, you shouldn't be happy because I'm, I'm very unhappy to accept no, this phone call. Mr. Jefferson, look, maybe we can do a little something for you. Your son is Brad. Is that correct? Yeah. You're staying with Brad? Yes, I am. Well, this is Lamont and Tonelli calling from KSJO Radio. You're on the radio. 
Say hi to the Bay Area. Welcome to the Bay Area. Good morning. California. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Boy, I swear to God. Your, your son Brad said to give you a call. Oh, we get, oh we're a little pisser, man. Yeah, <laughs> this, this was all his idea. He is a little pisser, isn't he? <laughs> oh, hey, by the way, the Cowboys sucked yesterday. <laughs> oh, I just see that guy. God damn. <laughs> hey, welcome to the Bay Area. Troy, hey. hold on the line, okay? All right, thank you. And God. don't worry, your plane is A-OK. All right, thank you. All right. God. 718 Lamont. <laughs> It's an LA 1-800-575-KSJO. We're Raymond. We're stinging. We're burning. All right. Continue on. Hello? Good morning. I'm looking for Chris. Please. Uh, this is Chris. Hi, Chris. How are you doing? Uh, this is John Schwartz calling from uh, in San Bruno. Oh, hi. And I'm calling about the uh, car we worked on. Uh-huh. Uh, we, we've got a problem. I think we put the wrong axle in your car. Uh-oh. Uh-huh. Uh, Danny was working on the car. Yeah. I was talking to Danny, and uh, we had a shipment of axles come in for another car. Yeah. And he mistook that one for the one he was supposed to put in your car. Okay. And I hope you haven't been driving this thing. Yes. Well, not uh, a lot. It's making a bad noise. It's, make, it's still making a bad noise? Yeah. Well, the reason being, we have the wrong axle in it. Okay. Um. Uh, God. Um, no, I haven't been driving a lot. Okay. How, how far are you from the shop? Right now? Yeah. Um, I'm in San Carlos. Okay. Uh, good. You're fairly close. Uh, do, do, do you think maybe you could you could arrange to tow it down here? Because I very seriously, you shouldn't be driving this. <laughs> um, do you think I can arrange, or you guys can arrange? Well, 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 sir, we'd like you to to bring the car in. It's okay. not it's not our responsibility to get it here. But I think what you should do is tow it here because I don't want you driving it. No, I under okay, I understand that, but I didn't, I, I don't, I don't see it that way. Where I didn't put the wrong axle in, and I'm not gonna, pay, you know, I mean, I'll see if someone has a way to get it towed, but I don't want to pay for towing. Okay, because it, once you bring it in here, the charge won't be much to put the other axle in. Okay, I I think I understand and hear everything you're saying, but you're, you're asking me to bear the responsibility of getting it towed in there uh -huh. when you guys put the wrong axle in. Well, yeah, yeah, it was an honest mistake on Danny's part. Okay, I understand that. But uh -huh. why should I bear the liability or the of, of towing it in there when you guys admittedly have put the wrong axle in? That's what I don't understand. Sir, we're splitting hairs here over safety of your car. Right. Now, tow it but in. But what happens if there's a cost for the towing to tow it in Well, there? then why don't you just drive it in? Because you told me it's not safe. <sighs> Sir, all right, we will cover the cost of the tow into the into the shop but i will say that it will cost you to replace this axle with another axle because the axle that's supposed to go in your car is a more expensive job than the one that we put in yours but the it sh should it only be the marginal difference and not the full cost all over again well it's not the full cost it'll cost about two hundred dollars in labor wait a minute <laughs> Well, the, the, you see, the problem is we're, we're splitting the difference on what it would have cost to put the real axle in compared to what we put in your car. There's more man hours involved with the Mitsubishi Gallant than the axle that we actually put in your car. Okay. I, I, I understand that. So I'll cover the cost of the towing, but it'll cost you $200 to put the other axle in. So you mean... Because we have to take the other one out. Okay, so if I look at the bill and look at the labor for putting in the existing one, uh -huh. it would cost $200 more. Yes, sir. Well, you know, I see, Chris, I see we're going nowhere with this, and I'm just going to screw the whole thing and say it's Lamont and Tonelli on KSJO Radio. You're on the air. Your brother Mark said to give you a call this morning. It's Dirty Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? We're no. not kidding you. You're on the air. You're on the air. Do you have anything to say to your brother? Oh, what a joker. <laughs> Chris, hold on the line. We got I wish I could have heard it. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. I'm looking for Maria, please. Yeah, this is Maria. Hi, Maria. This is uh, Bill Scrotum calling from uh, Walmart. Oh, hello, Bill. How are you? I'm doing good. Uh, listen, we need you in here today. I can't, I can't work today. I worked five days already. Uh, Maria, I understand that, but we're so busy with the day after Thanksgiving. You know, it's the biggest shopping day of the year. Yeah. 
Listen, I work five days in a row. I work tomorrow. It was an oversight on our part to give you today off. You should have been in here. What am I going to tell my kids? I, I have to go shopping with them today. Well, you, I can't take this pressure. You no, know, maybe you could maybe you could bring them in, and we could get them doing some underage stuff for us. What? You can get your kids working too. No, I maybe I, they could stand and bag for you. Oh my God! Uh, I I can't take the pressure. Maria, we had a couple of people book off sick today, and you're needed in the store. Listen, I think that you're being an asshole because I have. Maria, are you calling your supervisor names? Listen, that is not that is not the Walmart way. I'm sorry. Listen, I was working for five days straight, okay, and I had my day off today, and I don't think this is okay. We've got a 12-hour shift that needs to be filled. Oh yes, me? What? We have a 12-hour shift that needs to be filled, and you're the only person that can do it. You can't call somebody else. No, Maria. We've tried everyone. You're the only one that picked up their phone. Okay. We expect to see you in here in 10 minutes. All right? No, it's not like M I'm Mar working so hard for the last five days and now I have to come in right now and it's not okay. M Maria, 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 no, Maria, calm down. Calm I was, down. I was, calm, I was, Maria, I was cooking yesterday all day long. M Maria, calm down, please. Calm down. Your husband, Jose, what? said to give you a call. What? It's Lamont and Tonelli on KSTR Radio. You're on the air. Oh, my God. It's Hola. Dirty Friday. Hola. <laughs> Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Don't worry. You have today off. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. I'm going to kill you. Oh, my goodness. Hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> Maria. Maria, don't worry. It's, it, hey, don't don't succumb to the pressure, okay? I won't. Thank All you right. so much. You just wow. relax. <laughs> Way to go, Maria. <laughs> I'm going to kill you. Yeah. <laughs> Maria, hold on the line. We'll give you a little Montanelli gift, okay? Oh, thank you. All right, Eva. Bye -bye. Wow, she actually understood succumb. <laughs> I'm just glad she didn't think it was two words. Oh. <laughs> Dirty Friday. Come over yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> well, hook, line, and sinker. Jose, thanks for, thanks for giving us your wife's number. 1-800-575-KSJO if you want to sting somebody this morning. Oh, what's going on? Hello. Good morning. I'm looking for John, please. This is him. Hi, John. This is Sean calling from uh, Roofing. Oh, great. And I'm calling about the message you left for us. Yeah, I need to. I need to have someone come out immediately. My my roof is still leaking terribly. What do you mean it's still leaking? Well, there's still there's still a big hole in the roof, and the water is still coming through into the into my house. Well, okay. Now I'm not the guy who normally answers these because, um, uh, as you well know, Thanksgiving weekends here. And it's tough to get in touch with everyone. But uh, according to your... Let me just go check some paperwork here, okay? Now, you had a, uh, a complete re-roofing done. Was that correct? Yeah. That was like six months ago? Yeah. Well, uh, according to our records here, the, the crews have already taken care of a problem. They were there on Monday, right? Yeah, and I left that on the machine. You guys came out, but nothing got fixed. So I don't know what they did. Um, and this is kind of getting frustrating because when they fixed it and I called and talked to them have them come out and do this again, uh, I said, I know the holidays are coming up. I want this to be fixed. You, they said it would not be a problem, uh -huh. that, that we don't care that it's the holidays. Well, we'll we always had, have we, someone out there. We had a crew out there Monday, though, right? Yeah, you sent someone out. They didn't do anything. It's still leaking. I'm looking at it this morning. There's still water coming through it. Um, I don't want to sound like a pain in the butt, but my roof is still leaking, and I paid a lot of money to have it fixed. All and right. I hope you can understand that. Okay, I can. Now, the only problem is, John, I don't think we're going to be able to get someone out there till late next week. No, I got oh, there's water coming through the house right now. I need someone out here Well, you today. know, that, that water won't damage much. Uh, you know, you've got a brand new roof what? on there, and it can't, it's not coming down in streams, is it? No, I need someone out here today. There's water coming through into my house. I, I can't have my roof leaking. I just spent fifteen thousand dollars to fix my roof. There's a and fifteen it's grand. Yeah. And you guys guarantee your work. You you also said it wasn't going to be a problem. I I specifically yeah, told John, them that John, that, that John, it's gonna, no, no, wait, wait. John, why, why, why are you being like this with me? Like I said, this is not normally my job. 
Uh, no, I I'm just feeling like the, the last-minute calls kind of thing during the holidays. I got it. I'm just frustrated with your company. You said you'd come out and fix it. You guys came out. You didn't fix it. Well, now I'm getting the, best, the holiday the, thing. The best I can do is late next week. We'll get a guy to come and take a look at it, okay? That is not good enough. I need someone to come out and well, fix it. Well, John, my what roof. do you want me to do? I, I need you or somebody to tell somebody to come out here and fix my roof. But I'm, I'm telling you, everyone is away for, like, the next four or five days. See, I... I specifically asked about the holidays. Said, "Don't worry about it. We have people that work through the holidays." Well, John, you're I, I can't do anything for you. You know what? I am fed up with your company. I, John, I, the only John, thing I can do is John, call the Better Business Bureau. I am calling deal. the Better Business Bureau. What? Big deal. Call what the Better Business. Call the Better Business. We get calls all the time to the Better Business Bureau. Doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother you. Why? So would obviously, it? you what guys. You, they've got no balls. They can't do anything. Well, we'll just have to you know see about what? that. You know we? what? If you're we'll being such a dick that. here, John, if you're going to be such a dick, I am going to put you what at the bottom. You if you're going to be such a dick about this, I'm going to put you at the bottom of the list. We won't be able to take care of you until Christmas. Hey, listen, buddy. I paid for you guys to come out and fix my roof. You guys came out. You didn't do a good job. You're going to insult me. Where the well, hell are you Why are you being at? a dick? Who are you calling a dick? You guys screwed up my Look, roof. I'm sitting here the day I after Thanksgiving. I shouldn't be at work as it is. I got your message. I was concerned, and I'm trying to set you're something up for next week. What are you talking about? I John, you're, you to John you're being a bastard. Why are you doing what? this to me? Wait, who's your boss? That's First of all, who's your boss? I'll tell you who the I, boss I, I is. Didn't wanna, I didn't want to get personal here, but who's your boss? Your wife, Beth, is my boss. What? She said to give you a call. It's Lamont Tonelli of 92 KSJO. You're on the air. It's Dirty Friday, bro. Oh, my God. She's my boss. <laughs> yes, she is. <laughs> Good morning. Happy Thanksgiving. Great. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> I still want my roof fixed. Oh, yeah, I know. The bad news is you still got to leak your roof. She's in trouble. Oh, she said to give you a call, bro. Hold on the line, okay? All right. All right. All right there go you away. go. And good luck with your roof. Yeah, no kidding. Wow, 15 grand. 922, Lamont and Tonelli, we are the rock. It's Dirty Friday. We're stinging. We're reaming. We're burning.